Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloodworth Zelda Diaries. Uh, as I'm just going through, you know, uh, things that I do uh, every every day, every couple of days, whenever I have a story to tell, essentially. Like a, 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 a beginning and an end, uh, an arc, as you will. Um, and, uh, you know, some of this you might consider spoilers if you haven't been to these places yet. But, uh, you know, just, you know follow what I start to talk about and then it's like yeah you know I haven't been there yet and I want to discover that on my own you can definitely bail out go through that area yourself and then come back and listen to what I did um, but uh, anyways if you've been following the series so far uh, you know that I have multiple times uh, been trying to go into Hyrule Castle and check that out and then do something stupid or get distracted and get pulled away by something else or whatever. So after the last bit, I was like, okay, I need, I need to just clean up Hyrule Castle. Like I, I, I'm quote unquote almost done and I'll go clean up. As you know, I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. I thought there was one little, just a couple of like, I don't know, a couple of little rooms and I would be done. And like, no, I ended up getting into this whole like set of secret passages and things uh, and 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 legitimately was finding all kinds of cool stuff you know like I, I, I found like a there's a guy that was like kind of guarding one of the entrances um, and then there's a guy in the dining hall uh, and that was all kind of cool I just even from you know from the last game just exploring the castle has always been great and now there's just a lot fewer enemies and there's some dudes hanging out um, but then, um, and I, and, uh, I had gone at, I don't have a clip of this one, but I, I got, uh, you know, I found like the, one of the guards outfits, the Royal guards outfits and like the guard shack. That was pretty cool. And then I found like this great, um, and it, yeah, so it's like, there's like, there's things that were upstairs and downstairs, but I found this great and I was going downstairs and I was kind of just working my way through, just trying to make sure I'd like saw every little path and then. Um, it went up and it went, there's like a spiral staircase. It went up and went down and I, and I, full disclosure, I, I was, because I was cleaning up, I wasn't recording at this point. And so I went back and a lot of these shots, they're kind of like, just, you know, I went just to be able to illustrate what I did, where I went. So, but some of it is going to look a little empty because I went back and recorded after I'd cleared out enemies. Um, uh, but anyways, no decide, uh, I, I'd start rolling down this the staircase and there was like a, a monument there that kind of talks about the lore of why the castle was built to kind of be like a seal on Ganondorf and all of this um and I keep going down and then there's I just start getting into these caves and stuff and I'm just like what how deep is this going where is this going and it was it was a little nuts because in addition to there being a lot of tougher enemies down there there are also like a lot of um little side passages with weapons there's like a lot of uh blocked off passageways it's just like jammed up with like uh the breakable boulders and so i'm like going through a lot of hammers and a lot of boulders and that kind of thing um uh i again i didn't record it unfortunately but there was like a stall knocks down there that i thought and just kept going and going and going and uh in that room where the stall knocks was i noticed i looked at my map and i'm like i'm like way i'm like way out under the town now um so i was like oh that's just kind of crazy and i kept going and then i came across like this statue and there's there's one of these um in the last game too but it's like this like cursed statue that'll take one of your heart or stamina meters and then give you you know like the like juice exchange for the other one give for for just a, you know 20 rupees or whatever um but then i was hearing like the like music like i like town music and i'm like what i'm like still underground and we we're and then i look and i'm like actually all the way back at lookout landing and there's a dead end there and it was just like what <laughs> I was like trying to figure out like how do I can I open this like because I could hear on the other side of the the wall like the woman that was sweeping in the bunker turns out apparently Damiani 
I asked Damiani later and he was like, yeah, you, there's a thing there and you're supposed to go through from the other side, but I guess I, I went the opposite direction. <laughs> so apparently that opens up later, some story moment anyways. But then I had figured, okay, okay, that was it. That was a lot, that crazy long passageway was the last thing uh, that I needed to do there. Uh, except I think I went back to the dining room and like checked the upstairs, made sure I had gone through all the passages up there. And then I got back into the town area and right then I was, as I was getting into the town, it was like one of those falling rocks, boom. And I'm like, that's really close. I bet I could ride that up and I bet I could go into the upper part of the castle. You know, the part that's like floating way up in the air, like the big ominous thing that happens at the beginning of the game. And I'm like, this is a really, really bad idea. I probably should not be going there yet. But, uh, go, you know, just like when I went under the castle, I was like, I'll, I'll try this out. We'll see what's up. We'll see, there. see, see what's there. And legit, like, I, 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 I float over there, glide over there, and looking at this place, and I'm like staring at the main entrance of this castle, and I'm just terrified because the music and all the, the smoke and gloom and everything is just telling me, you should not be here. Like, it's communicating to me that this is like end game space. As in, you know, and the, and the obviously experience with the previous game. And I'm just like, uh, I, I'm just expecting to walk into these doors and there's going to be Ganon. And I'm like, I'm not sure how this is going to fit in with the story or whatever. But it'd be like, I'm going to walk into the final boss room or something, right? And I get into the sanctum and there's, there's no one there. There's nothing there. It's like, okay. But I'm still like under pressure. So I'm like, I'm not even like really like methodically thinking my way through. I'm just like kind of like. Okay, well, how deep can I get? Uh, as like almost like I'm being chased or something, even though there's no enemies here whatsoever. So I'm just like, grab this thing, grab that thing, and I go higher, go higher, go higher, go higher, and then I get up and like I find some Koroks and stuff, and then I actually like, climb all the way up to the top of Hyrule Castle and get a look around. And there's like, oh, there's there's a shrine, there's a shrine here. Well, that's cool. And I fly down into the you know and, and unlock the shrine and stuff. Uh, and at this point, it was like, it was way too late. So I'm like, go to bed. But I'm like, thinking to myself, well, like, it's sort of okay. I guess I can, like, try to clear out this space, too. <laughs> so I come back the next day, and I start working my way through the upper castle grounds. And the thing is, is there's so much crazy loot up here like i'm getting crazy shields and weapons and bows and everything and there's not a there really aren't a ton of enemies and so because i've got these weapons and because there's not a ton of enemies i'm like actually able to sort of like slowly pick my way through and 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 explore this place and i find my way into the library and it's like while i'm in the library i like I see torches, uh, and it's like, heck yeah, torch puzzle, light the torches, and then there's a chest that appears, and that's, that's great, awesome, look, <laughs> um, and then uh, I find the king's study, and there are the guard boots to match the guard outfit that I got down in the lower castle, because I was wondering, like, because I'd seen all of the lower castles, like, where's the rest of this guard outfit, and then there's the boots, and I found... Uh, work my way around to find Zelda's study, which didn't have a whole lot in it. One thing that's kind of a bummer is it's like like all those notes and things from Breath of the Wild. It was like just kind of decayed and, and, and rotted away at this point. But then I get into Zelda's room and the cap is there. I'm just like, I'm so happy. Like I filled out this whole outfit, got the guard cap, feeling great. Um, uh, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of any enemies, but I just snipe a couple of Bokoblins. Uh, so you can see <laughs> me using a good bow. Uh, but because I had initially just kind of rushed through that central area, I was like, I, I, okay, I went back to the main part of the castle and I started working my way through again. And there was another set of torches in there in the main room. And I'm like, ooh, because the library taught me. And you know what? I was kind of thinking that maybe like, 
maybe this wouldn't be fair to like people who aren't longtime Zelda players who haven't seen this mechanic copied in a hundred adventure games or whatever, right? But I thought back to, you know, an episode or two ago, whatever, I got the Hylian Shield, right? And in a way they do tutorialize it. Because when you when you get the Hylian Shield under the castle, there's a gigantic brazier there, right? It was like a bunch with a bunch of lit torches around it. So you do that and you get that Hylian shield. And then you do this other one in the library and you get that, you know, chest with like 300 rupees in it. And then, you know, by the time you get to this one, it's like, oh, there's more torches, you know? So, so you kind of, if you've been exploring as thoroughly as I have and, you, and everything, you kind of get the hint. And I like those torches. And the statue slides away and there's a chest inside. I'm like, sick. I wonder what's in there. And I'm like, it could be more rupees or whatever. No joke, it is an augmented, upgraded version of the champion's tunic. Dude wears my clothes, has reached its end. I got my clothes back. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I'd have to, I still haven't upgraded any, or any armor yet. Um, but there we go. It's like, my other armor sets are like twos and threes and fours, and this is a five. And I'm so stoked <laughs> to have that back. And I cleared out the rest of that pace. I've been through every passage and I just fly off the cliff, head back towards town because now I am done with this place. Uh, and it just goes to show you that like, um, that yeah, just like brave it out. It was all worth it. Got a ton of sick armor, got a ton of weapons, got a ton of shields, got a ton of bows. Um, and there were no crazy, crazy... I mean, there's a stall knock, so there are no crazy, more crazy fights than that. Um, it was not really that worth being afraid of, even though it was really, really intense. Music, the whole way through. Um, oh, also, uh, Damiani said, there's some NPC out there that tells you, I guess, about it. But I just found it before I found the NPC. So there we go. Thank you uh, for listening and following. Uh, if you haven't been to that castle yet, now's the perfect time to go. <laughs> Go get your gear back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, if uh, you enjoy this and you enjoy all the other things that we do, our reactions to that PlayStation Showcase, uh, the Zelda review, which may be up by the time you watch this. I know Brad's working on the script as I'm recording, so this it's coming. It's coming soon. Uh, all of the stuff that we do is funded by our viewers, so consider becoming a patron giving your monthly support, and you get cool rewards. So go to patreon.com slash easyallies to do that. And also like and subscribe and tell your friends about Easy Allies, all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you soon with more Zelda Diaries. Hit.